tonight, a local woman was at the Charlotte airport paying American Airlines for her bags, but instead, she says the airline charged her for an African-American service charge. Fox 46's Linnea Lewis live at Charlotte Douglas International tonight. Linnea, you spoke with that woman and the airline about what happened. The woman tells me that she flies here frequently and even with American Airlines, but to this day, she doesn't understand why the airline hasn't taken responsibility for that racially insensitive bank statement that is tied to their name. Apologize because it, it, it happened and it's, it's hurtful. Kaitra Bryant says her and her boyfriend's Thanksgiving trip was ruined last year after reading their American Airlines baggage charge. Saturday, I noticed it. I said, hmm. African American, African service charge. And it was just on my cell phone because I was looking at my banking app and I'm like, what is this? She says they purchased separate flight tickets and even paid separately for their bags. She contacted the airlines immediately. She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. It's like, well, I have a screenshot here on two different phones and a computer and it says it's from American Charlotte. So I want to know why is it listed this way? From November to January 5th, Kaitra says she got the runaround. The airlines blaming it on her bank and the bank blaming it on the airlines. The bank told American directly, we don't have anything to do with that. When you put something into your system, we charge it as the merchant charges it and that's it. And to this day, it hasn't changed on either one of our statements. Fox 46 reached out to American Airlines and they sent a statement that reads in part, our team members are unable to change text when processing a charge. And we've determined the issue originated with the credit card company and bank issuer. Kaitra says there's no way. And there's really no justification. We definitely felt targeted because that's an instance of racial bias. Kaitra is still waiting on a personal statement from the airlines, but she says she hopes this experience shows them that their company needs more training. Reporting live at the Charlotte Douglas Airport, Linnea Lewis, Fox 46.